have some apple, uh, pear, walnut. Okay. French toast that we're stuffed. making with hol stuffed with challah bread, which is my favorite. Challah. Uh, challah. Okay, challah. you get going. Show, right. show me the way. You want All right, me to, so you're gonna be my sous chef. What do you want me to yeah, do? Yeah. So can you actually it? make little slices? We're gonna make pockets. We're gonna stuff it. Pockets. So, okay. Yeah. So here I have some butter, and I have my Careful, apple and my pears that are chopped. Okay. And then I have some walnuts. Okay. Now you can make this without walnuts if you want to. If you don't want any walnuts, and just don't. Is there if I go on the side here? Go on the side, but okay. don't. But be careful when you're making a slice. You don't want to put it all the way through because okay. then all the stuffing is going to fall out. Okay. Come on, Iron right, So I added my cinnamon and I'm mixing this all together. Okay. And this is great. So what I love to do with this is you can make it um, with the stuffing. You can cook it first and make it soft so that it's a creamier filling or you can do it like my husband likes it. He actually likes it crunchy. So Crunchy. Yeah, he likes it crunchy. Yeah, a little texture. Yeah. A little texture, a little texture. Doesn't and I see you save some over here so in the I pot. So I do. So yeah. that is actually for the end. So can you just That's do me a favor good. and stuff a little bit inside some of the pockets? Yeah. Okay, yeah. absolutely. While you're stuffing there, just keep an eye on what I'm doing here. I have about a dozen eggs. Okay. And I'm going to add some milk to my mixture here. I'll add some sugar. And I have some cinnamon, and I have nutmeg, and I'm gonna mix, and I have vanilla extract, all the good Classic. stuff. Classic. I mean, and a little bit of salt, too. A little bit of salt. So I'm going to dip this just slightly. I don't want to have the bread fall apart on me, so I just wanna dip it a little bit, and then I'll add to the pan, mm. and I'll repeat all these steps. That looks good. What's, great, what's also great about this, this recipe is you can make it in advance, and you can have it for a couple of days later. And just, so you know, I warmed them yeah. in the oven, yeah. and then what I also did with the extra mixture is I made some, I just sauteed this. And so what I like to I do. A compote. Yes, a compote. I made a nice. compote. What I, what I like to do is just add, put this on top, just for some extra fruit and sweetness and crunch, and then just drizzle some maple syrup. I like, like syrup. Oh. Yes, I love syrup too. That is beautiful. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Okay. 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 Please. Oof. Big boy. Hala. Yes, and. I'm looking for a bad note, and all I find is good notes. All right. <laughs> the vanilla, the cinnamon, the apple on top. That stuff is the bomb. It really makes it. This is really delicious.